Bobitza. Thank you. So, all my songs have like, most of them have geographical locations. And this next song, which is my, I think pretty much the most requested song when I do my, uh, my live stream, which by the way, does not compete with any of my friends' live streams. So just so you know, but every Sunday at eight o'clock since COVID started, we've only missed a couple of days, a couple of Sundays when uh, the internet didn't work or whatever. And once we even did one from Spain, Savannah and the mountains in West Virginia, but um, Sunday night on Facebook and YouTube on my limitlessguitar.com and also uh, YouTube, um, so three places you could watch it. At eight o'clock Eastern time is a live show for an hour and it's really fun. People from all over the world are on. We have people from Europe who stay up till 2 a.m. and it's really funny, you know, because like, you know they're passing out. But <laughs> if you ever need a mellow night of music on a Sunday, feel free to join us. It's really fun. And you'll probably know most of the people because a lot of them are keys people who don't leave the house. This song is written in the Azores. It's called Black Emerald. When you pick up the sand in the, in the Azores off the beaches, it looks black. But if you pick it up and look at it carefully, it's made of these little green emeralds from the volcanic uh, sand that's there. And it's, um, this, this song is about the waves and the ships that sailed. I'll just stop talking.
Thank you. I like that one. It makes me think of the big square riggers. We, uh, my son got to go on a, on a treasure hunt while he was, so I can't see through these glasses. I'm trying to see my, tour, my tuner. Um, and uh, we had so much fun. We, we have fun every time we go over there. It's uh, more isolated than here and very, um, very unspoiled place for the most part, at least where we went. Then we got there, then it was spoiled, but no. I just remember my, my, I think one of my most vivid memories is of watching the uh, ladies at the, I guess it was a perfume factory or something. They made, they had flowers, I, something, some kind of factory, but they would ride to and from work being pulled on a cart by mules and they were asleep and the mule just would take them. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a Tesla, really. Just kind of takes you where you want to go, right? So I'm going to play another uh, kind of a combination uh, flamenco tune that I like. Um, it's, as you might be able to tell, most of my songs are uh, pretty improvised. Probably out of tune now, too. Um, no, it's not. Sorry, I hit the I hit the mic stand with my tuner. Okay, this is uh, my version of a solea.
Thank you. Whew. Isn't he great, you guys? Oh, here's Billy. <laughs> I'm in there watching the, uh, the uh, broadcast. It looks really good. It sounds really good, too. Uh, just once again, I want to remind people that are watching uh, on uh, Facebook and on YouTube, all on the bottom there, you can see the donation. All the dona donations are going to the artists. This year, or last year, all these guys played for free. This year, I'm trying to pay him. So actually, we were successful enough to come up with up enough money to pay Dave tonight. But please consider uh, anything he that He told you me there were strippers. <laughs> please consider uh, donating. Uh, we have everybody here just put a bunch of money in the tip jar. But anybody that's out there in broadcast land, please donate. And all, all the proceeds are going to be going to our, all our musicians. We have a 25 musicians that we're going. We uh, I have scheduled each week, either on Monday or Tuesday. It's usually one hour before and after sunset. So right now, 4:30 to 5:30. Once the time zone changes, uh, then we'll we'll switch that. But uh, it's yeah. awesome. It's so beautiful here. It is nice here, isn't it? This awesome. backyard has evolved. It sure has. All right. So I just want to let you know you're about halfway through. So All right. In case you didn't know what time it was, and uh, yeah, keep it, keep up the good work. It sounds great. What time is it? Isn't it uh, Morris Day in the time? Or is it hammer time? <laughs> uh, let's see, what am I playing? Um, I do have a list. Um, so here's a song I wrote for my uh, fiddle player friend, Lisa. It's called Lisa's Song. I wrote it for her many years ago, and she went for three years without being able to, we don't see each other that often. She worked for Sting for quite a while, and then she works for a band called The Klezmatics. But when we get a hold of her, she's an amazing fiddle player. So I learned to play both parts, not as well as, you can look online, there's some uh, videos of her playing it with us finally a couple of New Year's ago, right before uh, lockdown. But uh, this is called Lisa's Song. It's really fun. It's fun to play. Might be fun for you guys, too. But what really matters is it's fun for me. <laughs>
Ah, thank you. I had a technical difficulty on that one, but thank you. I hit my pedal. It was supposed to do something. It didn't. But, you know. I knew. But that's, that's a fun song. Um, I actually played that last night with my son who was visiting from Nashville. And it's always different. And uh, last night it was great because he has this thing that he does really cool uh, bunnage-ness. All right, I'm going to do uh, one more song before I trade guitars. And then I'm going to do one song with that guitar. And then, then Billy and I are going to play some stuff together. Um, what song was I going to do? Do you want something up and Spanishy, or do you want something kind of mellow? What are you guys in the mood for? Spanishy? Okay. Up. up. You want something up? <laughs>
<laughs> That's called a hard tango. I'm going to switch guitars and play one more and then, uh, and then bring Billy back up. Hey, I'm into, I'm into plant, uh, I'm into plants. Susie likes Robert Plant. <laughs> so um, that song, Hard Tango, was written by uh, me and my son, uh, Nyan. It was originally called Mommy's Tango, and then we changed it to Heart Tango. And uh, it's really, you know, Susie and I actually, for almost three dance lessons, were trying to learn how to dance tango. And then our dance teacher moved out of town. But uh, we're going to try again sometime when we grow up. And um, no, that'll never happen. Never going to grow up. <laughs> yeah, probably. She probably threw up her hands. Well, we didn't know the whole left and right thing. It's like something about left and right was eluding us. What? Asking for a friend. My, my girlfriend's calling Spam Risk. Do you want to see what they have to say? No, we'll, we'll wait. Is it tonight? Is it full tonight?
Oh, try to switch to a guitar. I can play Bank and Gamma. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you just saw a master guitar player right there, right? You just got a master's class. <laughs> More to that word. <laughs> My hands were just loving you. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you're soaking in it. <laughs> what was that commercial? Palm Olive. Calgon. Oh, Calgon. Was it Calgon? <laughs> Take me away, Calgon. Palm Olive, right? Yeah. So this is the fun part where we get to play together. Well, the funner part. Because we both get to play by ourselves all the time. You know, it's kind of like what we do. Well, yeah, that too, but you know. You know, I do miss Jack Snipes. Every time a comment like that gets me, I miss him. Big Dick, we call him Big Dick for all your people out there we that don't know. Needle Dick and the Pretenders. <laughs> Or Big Richard in the Family Fun Band That's correct, yeah. at the Lorelei. That's right. <laughs> I got a song that I, I think we played every time we get get together because it's just always screaming for nylon acoustic guitar. Are there notes in it? Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm in. G minor. G minor. It costs more for minor chords, you know. Is that the key up there? Is that bugs getting eaten? Yeah. Oh. I wonder what that is. Well, that's good. Back to A minor, G minor to A minor. Yeah. It's pretty much the whole song, too. Yeah. So uh, this is a song by Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Actually, it's really mostly Stephen Stills, but, you know, those harmonies that the Crosby and Nash do are pretty uh, pretty integral to the song too, which they won't be in this song, this yeah. particular version. But it's called Fair Game. Take a look around you, tell me what you see The girl who thinks she's ordinary looking, she has got the key And if you can get close enough to look into her eyes There's something special right behind the bitterness she hides And your fair game you never know what she'll decide your fair game Just relax, enjoy the ride Well, find a way to reach her Make yourself a fool Do it with a little class Disregard the rules Cause this one knows the bottom line Couldn't get a date The ugly duckling striking back And she'll decide her fate It's your fair game You never know what she'll decide Your fair game Just relax, enjoy the ride
Well, the ones you never notice are the ones you have to watch. She's friendly and she's clever while she's looking at your crotch. Tie yourself in conversation, gossip is a lie. Pretty soon she'll take you home and make you want to die. But you're fair game. You never know what she'll decide. You're fair game. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Screams for that guitar. That sounded great. It's fair game. That's fair. <laughs> fair Leah song. One. Should we play a song for Leah? Yeah. So we have another friend in the hospital. I guess that's the age we are at. Yeah. She's a little bit younger than us, there, Dave. She's she's <laughs> way young. Uh, a friend of ours, a friend of ours just got married, and on her wedding night, was rushed to the hospital with uh, heart issues. Yes. She got AFib and uh, tachycardia, but she's had issues, you know, uh, going for a while, but um, could have just been an overdose of love, but she's fine. She's, she's in the hospital. There's a lot of anxi anxiety when you're getting married, so yeah. that it probably had a little to do with it too, you know? Yeah, probably. But her husband's with her, and they're... they're and the wedding was amazing. The wedding was They so had the cool. carousers. They heard the carousers sounded amazing, and... Uh, if you've never heard the carousers, you're missing out. Yeah. Dave did the emceeing, right? You married them, right? I did not marry them, oh, okay. actually. Um, they're not into threesomes for some reason. I, I, it's, it's, you know, they're real churchy folks, you know? It's like the whole threesome thing, you have to be, I mean, lower, lower Matacumbi. You know, you, you get up into, like, South Island Marotta. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> nope. John, uh, um, Leah's father, married them. So it really came from on high because he's seven feet tall. Big man, yes. So I wrote this song a long time ago for someone who had traumatic childhood issues. But Lee and I used to sing it together a lot with Billy. Back when we had our jam session. And I know Leah loves it, and I think she's watching, so we love you, Leah. Feel better soon. I'm gonna hug you with no hesitation No ulterior motives and no big expectations Just two people who let down their guard Chakra to chakra and heart to heart And we can have love, love, love Love, love, love We can have love, love Somebody hurt you once or twice before But you don't have to close that door And you don't have to shy away You don't ever have to be afraid And you can have love, love, love Love, love, love You can have love, love It don't matter what you've done before Everyone's got to move on with forgiveness The time is now, breathe in the past you got this moment and you are the best in love Love
what you've done before hey, Everyone's got to move on with forgiveness Time is now, breathe in the past We got forever and we are the best in love, love So I'm gonna hug you with no hesitation No ulterior motives and no big expectations Just two people letting down their guard Chakra to chakra, heart to heart The time is now, so don't better, Leah. I was losing it in that one. I know it. <laughs> I see you. Yep. Uh, That's a tearjerker. <laughs> what are we playing now? Something happy. I have something here in mind. I can't remember what I'm Behind playing. every pretty face. Gotta have it. <laughs> All right. Grandma bought, ran over by a yeah. FPL <laughs> lunch. <laughs> no. What's that? Is that E major seven? Yeah. So uh, I wrote this song for my wife. Uh, we, uh, we were talking about my daughter, Natalie. She's been with uh, her boyfriend, Frank, for like six years, seven years. And, uh, and Dave today says, are they going to get married? And we said, well, yeah, we think so. And then I said, Dave, I was engaged to my wife for nine years <laughs> before I got married. <laughs> I was engaged for three days. What was I thinking? So uh, I got to thinking about that very subject when I wrote this song. I thought was, this is my apology song to her for, uh, for, for being so, uh, I don't know, stupid. She was just waiting for you to cut your hair. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we actually met on Christmas Eve. So there's the, there's the there's the uh, there's the idea for the apology and Christmas Eve. Get that in there too. So I got a, my, it's my one and only Christmas song. You've written a Christmas song, haven't you? Um, I wrote a Kwanzaa song. <laughs> 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 Anyways, this is called Christmas Eve, and this goes out to Cindy D. I love you. We both love you. have fallen, I hear December calling Christmas Eve, I can hear those church bells ringing, those old songs we'll be singing on Christmas Eve, the kids anticipating, patiently awaiting, presents underneath the tree, and don't forget to fill the stockings, Christmas Eve I will always remember the day I met her Christmas Eve We cuddled up together didn't care about the weather on Christmas Eve It was at a Christmas party she opened up a part of me 
I had never known It was in our destiny To meet on Christmas Eve Till it's Christmas Eve. Take it away, Dave. So many years ago, we stood below the mistletoe on Christmas Eve. She was so inviting. It was so exciting, Christmas Eve. With the snowflakes flying and all the presents lying underneath the tree. It was in our destiny to be on Christmas Eve. Oh, it's time to stoke the fire, whatever you desire. Bundle our tree, you and I together on Christmas Eve. I can't wait until it's Christmas Eve. That's a great song. So you're saying she was a Christmas present. <laughs> well, yeah. You didn't have to wait to unwrap her. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe nine years. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. How much time we got left? Uh, 15 minutes. Okay. Well, let's do a couple more. Let's, let's do right with the world at the end so I can switch guitars, right? Okay. How um, about the one that you don't want to do? <laughs> Which is the one I don't want to do? Oh, fine. <laughs> Oh, God, you don't want me to do that song. No, because, uh, look, at last time I did that song in public, someone tried to shoot me. <laughs> Seriously. I'm not even kidding. It was at Snappers, and some guy came up to me, because everybody thinks it's about the other guy. And this guy, you know, he had a hat, he had a hat on. And he walks up, and he goes, you goddamn right, you damn liberal, conservative, <laughs> middle-of-the-road mother. Anyway, <laughs> now, we're not going to do that one, but how about... um. How about, um, how about Salagua? I'm going to get Billy to play a flamenco tune. Yeah, basically, the, the vamp is A minor D, and yeah. the rest of it's I, I know it, but I just all along the watchtower. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So Bob Dylan wrote this song a long time ago, and I adapted it. And... Uh, Actually, that's, it's a really funny story. Was, I was playing at a, I'm not going to say the restaurant, you probably know it, but the owner wanted a jazz band, and he comes up and he goes, we were playing John Coltrane and Charlie Parker, and he goes, when are you guys going to play some jazz? And I go, uh, exactly what kind of jazz did you want? He goes, you know, Gypsy Kings. And I go, oh, that kind of jazz. So I told the boys, I said, okay, guys, all along the watchtower in Spanish.
joining it, David. I don't speak Spanish. I can speak English with a Spanish accent. It's very sexy, especially when you do this. Hello, my name is Enigo Mantoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> that was priceless. Wait, wait, wait. Let, me, let me get another guitar. <laughs> I'm glad we got that on tape because uh, <laughs> I'll be, be able to embarrass you now for the rest of your life for that one. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not easily embarrassed. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hello. <laughs> you sound like Al Pacino a little bit there from. Uh, <laughs> Susie says I only have one foreign accent, it's very generic. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know what it is. Say hello to my friend. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Of course, we used to have a three-pound dog, so that worked out really well. One or two more. So, this song is going to take 20 minutes, so it'll be. So, so this is song goes with Dogma Condom, but it's not Dogma Condom. This is the answer to Dogma Condom. Dogma Condom was a song that Billy wanted me to play, but I just, I just don't think it's appropriate. We have babies in the room. Um, we want them to inherit a great world. Um, this song is about creating a great world. And I wrote this uh, when my son was little, and um, I think it was during the first time we, in his lifetime when we went to a fake war. And and we were having all kinds of outrage and fake religion and fake wars. And a lot of people were doing stuff that, that my son would ask questions. And uh, it's hard to tell him, you know, that certain people don't walk the walk that they talk. And sometimes the talk is just, you know, manipulating. And there's a lot of stuff that goes on out there in the world that, you know, even as adults, we have trouble um, um, distinguishing. And that's why I wear my Q hat all the time when I go to the grocery store. No, no, I don't. I don't wear that hat. I never wear that hat. Only in the bathroom. <laughs> Only in the bathroom. On my orange days. <laughs> it's like D minor. Chords are optional. You could fill. Be right with the world. I'm gonna be right with the world. I'm gonna be right with the world. I'm gonna be right with the world. And I tell you, I love you. And I feel like I must, and I'm gonna do what moves me. To the light that I can trust I'm gonna live in the spirit And flow like a breeze And I'm keeping my heart open So that I can truly be Right with the world Gonna be right with the world Gonna be right with the world Gonna be right with the world And there's no partially hydrogenated oils in my food 
no corporations bottom line prefabricates my moods and i'm living in the spirit and i definitely will let no politician tell me whom or when that i should kill because i'm gonna be right with the world politics of greed they don't get their education from a watch in the tv and they'll never need a preacher man to tell them how to give we're raising them up on honesty and praying that they live ride with the world they're gonna be ride with the world And I'm gonna do what moves me to the light that I can trust. I'm gonna live in the spirit and flow like this breeze. And I'm keeping my heart open so that I can truly be. Ride with the world. Thank you so Thank you much, so everybody. everybody. Isn't he great? Mr. Dave Fader. Come on, give it up. Keep it coming. Come on. Thanks, Billy. Thanks, Billy, for doing this. Yes, sir. Thank you. Great yeah. music, as always. Thank you, everybody, for coming. This means a lot to uh, see people in person that actually want to be here, that aren't just at the restaurant telling us to turn down. <laughs> All right, one more quick announcement here. Uh, I have a, l a slew of people for the uh, next... Four months, all the way to the end of April. It's either on Mondays or Tuesdays from an hour before and after sunset. We have Paul Davey next week, Adrian, Mary Lou Davidson, Chris Bellamy, Scott Youngberg, Alex Caldwell, Joshua Stedman from Brothers of Others, David Goodman with Patty King, Vic Kingsley from Brothers of Others, Micah, Luke Summer Glenn, Denny Blue, Dennis Holmes, Terry Cassidy, Robin Fear, Danny Holmes with his beautiful wife, Karen and Mark Macri, Scott Meyer, Jeffrey James Harris, Steve Vanini, Derek Cintron, once again from Brothers of Others, and then the finale will be Erickson Holt, who is amazing. You love him. 
And uh, that's it for this week. We'll see you next week. It is uh, next week is Tuesday. It's going to be Tuesday with Paul Davy, four thirty. God, not, God bless you all. Good night. Hi, Joe. Oh, yeah, come on. Come on, check it out. Sure. Hey, Bill Todd, come on back here, check the studio out when you get a chance.